Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. In QA and in testing in general, we do functional testing where we check our application uh, meets all the functional requirements. But what if a person with some special needs have to use our application? They may be a person with some visual impairment or they may be a blind user. They may be a person with some auditory or hearing issues or maybe some motor or cognitive issues. Now, accessibility testing is all about making sure that people with some special needs can use our application. And here, uh, when we talk about accessibility testing, there are some uh, tools and techniques that we can use and make sure that our application is accessible to everyone. It is a non-functional testing. And here we can use tools like speech recognition software. So for example, they can be a person with some visual uh, issues or impairment. So in that case, there must be some speech recognition software that the person can just speak and the software should be able to understand and take the command from the user. Uh, they can be some screen magnification softwares which can zoom the screen and can make the screen easily readable with people with some visual impairment, uh, then special keyboard for communication. If a person is not able to use the mouse, uh, they should be, he should be able to use, they should be able to use the keyboard and they can be also keyboard with some uh, special needs. Then the screen readers and different tools and technologies we can use to make sure that our application can be used by people with special needs. Now, uh, we also have user experience reviews. So to make sure that our application is usable by people with special needs, they can be user experience uh, issues like uh, the layout is not proper or the fonts are not uh, easily readable, the size, the shapes, et cetera. So all these things are taken care in the user experience reviews. Now, why do we need accessibility testing? So one thing we have already discussed is this will make our application accessible to more users. There are a lot of people with special needs and it will make, it will uh, ensure overall usability of our application. It will make the content usable for all. And also it will enable us to meet the legal requirements. Now there are some international bodies like WCAG, which is Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. And uh, the Americans with Disabilities Act. So it will make sure that our application meets all these standards and all the guidelines. So here it will help your business to avoid costly lawsuits and it will also increase the usability and the SEO optimization. So this is why we should use uh, accessibility testing. We should do accessibility testing. Now, how to do accessibility testing? There are lots of tools, there are a lot of uh, ways we can do accessibility testing. So we basically have to make sure that our application works for everyone or everyone, especially people with special needs can use our application. So we can check our application with screen readers, screen magnification, speech recognition softwares, and there are and many other softwares and techniques and processes. And as per the international guidelines by WCAG, our app should follow these four standards, which are called as P-O-U-R. Now here, P stands for perceivable. So our application uh, should be easily processed by the users with special needs. Then O is for operable. So here, the people with special needs or people should be able to use our application without mouse. So uh, people should be able to use just by using the keyboard, should be able to navigate and use all the uh, content all the pages of our website or web application or mobile application. Then understandable, it says the user should not just be able to perceive, but should also be able to understand the content. And R is for robust. Here it says that the content can be interpreted by a variety of platform, browsers, devices. So we have to make sure all this works with our application. Now, uh, based on the number of success criteria met, there is a WCAG uh, performance or conformance level. So uh, there are a lot of uh, criteria laid out by these international bodies and based on how many of you, how many of them are you able to meet, there are different levels or conformance level. There is level A, then there is level double A and then level triple A. Now I will talk about these levels in some separate session in the future, but if you want, you can read more about it. And if you have 
any question for the next episode of Ask Raghav, you can let me know in the comment section below. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.